welcome to the Blues Time Power Hour. In keeping with our theme of featuring legends in their own neighborhood, we're featuring a true legend in this neighborhood where we live, the central coast of California. His name is Gary Mendoza. And we're going to be hearing interviews from Gary and his band members who have all been playing the blues for a long time. And they're proud of it. They're very talented. They love the blues, as you'll soon see. So stick with us. We know you'll enjoy Gary Mendoza and the blues effects here on the Blues Time Power Hour. Okay, hi. We just heard a set of Gary Mendoza and the Blues Effects, and we're outside here. We're going to talk to uh, members of the band individually and see what they got to say. So um, how about who wants to be first? How about the hard hardest working bass player in the, in the area? Come on. <laughs> come on, Andy. Come on, step oh, up here. I'm just a bass player. I don't count. No, you player. count. You count plenty because uh, <laughs> you play that upright bass excellently, and you also play... Electric bass. Oh yeah. And uh, who who has been your inspiration insofar as your bass playing? Oh man. Um, Nels Henning or Stead Pedersen? No. I'm no, just... actually, Conrad Lozano, Los Lobos. Oh. Fine bass player. Yes, fine bass excellent player. bass player. Um, and you've been playing around here for quite a while. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, around here for about. 12 years now, I think, uh -huh. you know, and I've been doing it for about 30, 31 years. 31 years 31 you've been playing. Years. And you play all different kinds of music, too, as well as the, as the blues. Oh, yeah, as, uh, I, you know, I started out on the blues, and blues kind of went away in the early 70s, uh, so you just went with the flavor of the, of the day, uh -huh. you know. And you have a son who's also a musician. Yeah, he's a guitar player. In fact, yeah. they're uh, they're doing a record right now, oh, an L.A. Excellent. recording, so. All right. You know, maybe um, he'll let me carry his guitar or something oh, someday. Oh, talent runs <laughs> the family. Maybe he'll pay me back for all the guitars I bought him, right? <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> okay, well, thanks a lot. We certainly enjoyed your performance. Okay, thanks. And much continued success. Okay, who next? <laughs> Come on, John, you can smoke. You can smoke during your interview. I like that secondhand smoke. <laughs> this is the wonderful guitar player, John Turner. Uh huh. And um, you've been playing for 30 years. At least. At least 30 years. Well, that's obvious. You're very, very talented. Thank you. I mean, you can hold your own with any, any blues guitarist that I've I heard, and I've been hearing a lot of them. Thank you. It's a pl it was a pleasure to hear you. So, tell me a little bit about where you started and and who influenced you and. Um, started out uh, with blues anyway. Uh, listening to Paul Butterfield and oh, yeah, uh, and some of the old. Uh, uh, oh, you know Led Zeppelin and stuff like that. And, yeah. But uh, mostly Paul Butterfield, John Mayo, and, and yeah. Uh, like, do you like Mike Bloomfield? And Elvin oh yeah, Bishop Mike. And yeah, Elvin Bishop, and yeah. uh, when he was with uh, Paul Butterfield. And, Love that band. Yeah, I did sound for Paul Butterfield you one did? time. Yes. I used to own a, a large sound company. And at up one in San time. Francisco? No, here. Oh. Uh, at, at a time when the band used to pass through and they didn't bring oh, a sound company with yeah. them, and I did it for John Lee Hooker and. Uh, really. And uh, who else? Thin Lizzy. I did sound for Thin yeah. Lizzy. Yeah. You know. So now I'm on the receiving end now. Now you are. Yeah. Now, you, now you can yell at the sound guys. Yeah. Well, we certainly enjoyed your playing. And what was that guitar called? Is that, is that a lap steel? Lap steel. Guitar. Yeah, it's an old uh, 50, 1956 Washburn. The sound you get out of it is, is great. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, real old and yeah, all the old music and scratchy. You, all the music that you played, it seemed like you had your own way of performing it, so it sounded like, you know like yours. Yeah, I never took any lessons from anybody, so no. Well, this is just totally you, then. Yeah. Well, we appreciate very much you right. letting us capture your performance tonight. Thank you. Mother's Tavern, continued success. All right. Thank you for coming out. Certainly. My pleasure. All right. All right. Thank you. See you. Where's that? Stan the Man. How you doing? Here's Stan the Man, the great harpist, harmonica player. Harp. Blues, yeah. harp man. Yeah, harp. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about some of your influences and what's uh, inspired you to such uh, status and so far as you're playing. You're a very good player. Well, I've been playing for 34 years, but when I when I first started out, I, I took lessons from Taj Mahal for, Whoa. for about... I call him the one of the wonders of the music world. Yeah, yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. uh, I took lessons from him for about six months, and, and then the rest I learned on my own. And, wow, that and, gave you a great start then. Jun I... Junior Wells was a big influence oh, of mine. Oh, totally. Yeah. 
I opened for Junior Wells once, and, and he's a, he was a great man. Totally. Great man. I used really to see nice. him all the time when he came into San Francisco, buddy guy, Junior Wells, yeah, yeah. the old Fillmore. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, they've influenced a lot of people. I mean, what more can you ask from a musician except to, you know, have people enjoy their music and, you know, be true to your art form, which That's is right. what you're doing. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And you were straight ahead and strive for tone. I, I love blues. I love blues. Yeah. yeah. And they love you, obviously. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> well, thanks for letting us come into your life well, and thank you capturing very much. your performance. Thank it was you. excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. All righty. I'm the man with the beat. Yeah, you were keeping the beat. We could hardly see you back there with all the dancers and all the people getting in the way, but you kept perfect time, I got to say. And so how long have you been playing with Gary? Oh, about a year, year and a half. Yeah? Are yeah. you from this area? Yeah, I live in Santa Maria. Oh, you do? That's where Todd's from, our esteemed videographer. So tell me about um, who your influences have been. Oh, a Buddy Guy, B.B. King, Jimi Hendrix, all of them, all the great blues players. Uh -huh. Coco Taylor, all of them. Oh, Coco Taylor, we love Coco Taylor. <laughs> yeah. What about drummers? Who's influenced you as far as playing the drums is concerned? Uh, the guy for the guy that plays the drums for the uh, 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 Grateful Dead. I like him, and I like I don't know his name right off. And uh, the you drummer. Mean, um, um, Mickey Hart. Yeah. Mickey Hart, the good planet drum, and all those great. Oh yeah, he's fabulous, isn't he? Yeah. Plus, I like the guy that plays with the Stones. What's his name? Oh, Charlie Watts. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's a jazz drummer, too. You know, he loves jazz. Yeah, I play jazz, too. Yeah, you do? Yeah. I bet you do. Yeah. I play with Valerie Johnson, and uh, she tended to oh, go on the blue. Were you playing on, was he playing on the show with yeah. Valerie Johnson? Was yeah. You with her at the Harbor Festival? Yeah. Oh, that's why I heard your name before. We already did a show with you in it, so you're going to be in two shows. All right. There you go. At least we know we got a great drummer on these shows. Yeah, I try. Yeah, I try. you do a real good job. Well, we appreciate very much you taking the time to talk to us. All and right. um, we hope we'll get that copy of the show to you pretty soon. All right. Thanks All a lot. Right. All right. Appreciate thank it. You. Right. Okay, boss. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait a second. Hold it. Oh, look what you're going, motherfucker. Ah! Jesus Christ. Motherfucking <laughs> unconscious this is, motherfucker. I'm telling you. I mean, you too many. One too many. <laughs> okay. It's, it's strange being out here yeah. and being sober. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's not amusing. It's an ugly side out there. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> but you do a great job. Thank I you mean, very I, much. I only heard about your reputation preceded you, and I heard... This is a guy that's real serious about what he's doing. I mean, you can have a good time doing what you're doing, but you are to totally a valid blues man. Thank you. I appreciate you know, you that. You can uh, tell that it's in your heart and in your yeah, soul, and yeah. you do the tunes that you do are standards, they're classics, Thank and you. you do a great job. Thank and you're, you. You're a band. I want, yeah, can, can get a shot of these guys here. First of all, I want to say without these guys, I wouldn't be who I am. Because I'm sure they, they're they're the backbone. They're they the backbone. Are, yeah. I'm telling you, they're they the are some of, uh, some of, of yeah, the music, and, they, and, and uh, the... I love them all. They're good guys, and you know they love the blues. And anyhow, yeah, I'm just excited that uh, you folks are here. And we're uh, excited jump, because you're you. the kind of local hero that we feature. Oh, thank you. On this series, you know, these thank are you. people that are famous and infamous in their own neighborhoods. Well, and I the love people the that don't care about getting that big record deal so much as putting on a good performance like you did. Thank you very much. I appreciate the compliment. I mean, it's, yeah. not, it's not easy playing these yeah. places. Well, it's not. <laughs> it isn't, but, I mean, you guys were great. You sounded good. Thank you. Thank and, you. I mean, Thank I got to... You know the sound guy. I'm appreciate sure. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I appreciated your okay. your selection of your material, yeah. and mm -hmm. you can well, tell that you're really from the heart. Thank you, thank you. You know, I, I have to say that it's. Uh, you know, I got my, really, my blues influences came, you know, when I was probably about 15, 16. First of all, it was Almond Brothers that really got me into a One Way Out. Then after that, of course, it was B.B. King and the uh, Holland Wolf. Wow. And, uh, yeah, uh, guys like that. Um, and But before that, of course, my, I've been singing since I was 10 years old in school. Um, I heard a little gospel in there. The, I sang gospel sang for gospel? a couple years. I yeah, sure I did. Heard a little of that. Very, very strong correlation between the two. It really you is. Bet. It comes from the heart. And you uh, bet. Yeah, Rolling Stones, Beatles, of course, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I just really, uh, I enjoy uh, uh, the beat. I enjoy the you expression. You know, your style reminded me of a little bit Delbert McClinton. Oh, right. That's one of my favorites. Really? Yeah, sure is. Yeah, yeah. he's a, well, I mean, yeah. he's a legend in, in his Yeah, own. he is. Yeah, Why? he is. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
yeah. yeah. I'm agreeing with you there, too. No, he's a legendary. <laughs> he came through here, uh -huh. and, and I took Todd. Todd yeah. never heard, oh, heard of him. Right. Yeah, yeah. But um, we yeah. all know that he... Uh, he taught the Rolling Stones about that Texas style blues. There it is, yeah. But I mean, I, I was so impressed. Uh huh. I still am impressed with your performance. Thank you very much. I Appreciate that. I wish you could stay here longer. But well, I wish you could too. There's too many people that had too many drinks. Yeah. <laughs> and our but camera's kind of shaky. I appreciate too. the opportunity. I just want to say to all you blues lovers out there, hey, you know, get out and support the support your local bands and exactly. support the blues. And uh, you know, uh, my motto is blues is like a snake bite remedy. You know, it <laughs> takes a little bit of that venom, you know, to cure you if you've been bit. Yeah. Same thing. Takes the blues to cure the blues. Yeah. And what we do is we give you the blues, but you really don't have to take them home. You see? That's, that's, right. that's That's the thing there. So you can work them out. Support, support your local blues acts and, yeah, uh, yeah um, keep it alive. That's Thank the you, Gary line. Mendoza. You're the very welcome. Pleasure. You're very welcome. Can you get my buddy in here? This is the blues animal. This is the blues in? animal. Get my buddy in here. Blues animal. This guy knows Which, a lot about blues. I tried singing the blues. Yeah. I wish yeah. I could sing blues like this guy. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so okay. much. Okay. Been a pleasure. That was great. <laughs>
Thanks for staying with us on the Blues Time Power Hour. We're proud to be featuring Gary Mendoza and the Blues Effects on this show. We know you're enjoying them, so hang with us as we continue on our musical journey on the Blues Time Power Hour. <laughs> 